Every day here at EPI, we get asked the question, why do I need a clutch kit? Or what will a clutch kit do for me? I'm going to answer that for you today. See, the manufacturer has a really tough job designing the stock clutching calibrations for their machines. It's a tough job because they know that that machine might be purchased by a farmer who's going to use it to plow snow and pull trailers around all day. Or the same machine might go home with a guy who's going to head right to the mud pit and get it dirty. So you can see that their, their stock clutching needs to perform adequately across a very wide variety of riding styles and conditions. Well, that's where EPI comes in. We design our clutch kits to perform really well under specific riding styles and conditions and to accommodate the most common changes that we make to our machines. So let's talk about some of those changes. Okay, what's the number one thing that we all change on our machine? We put on larger, more aggressive tires. <clears throat> we all love them, save up our money, we bolt them on, and what we've done is we've added weight and we've added a lot of resistance in the clutching system. The stock clutching is not set up to deal with tires like this. So the end result is you're going to create a lot of belt slip, and that equates into a lot of additional heat under this clutch cover. The belt and our clutches are running way hotter than they're supposed to. Um, how it feels to us as we're riding is it may feel kind of sluggish, especially if you get in some thick, deep mud. Um, it isn't going to turn these tires the way it should. They may not, the, the belt will be slipping too much. Okay, what's the number two thing that we do? We spend money on more power. We all love more power. We do that, we get a high flow air filter, we get an exhaust system, um, we rejet our carburetor, or we get a fuel controller. All these things are great, they make more power to the crankshaft. But without recalibrating your clutches, what's going to happen again? You're going to, your belt is going to slip, you're going to create a lot more heat under that cover, you're going to be replacing belts. Um, additionally, when you add more power, uh, without re-clutching, your RPM is probably going to go up because the stock clutching calibration is designed to work with stock horsepower. You increase the horsepower without changing the clutching, your RPM is going to go up too high and you'll be out of your power band. A clutch kit from EPI ties all these modifications together, especially when you, you add more, more horsepower and put on bigger tires. You've got a recipe for a not very good performance there unless you add an EPI clutch kit. Brings it all together. It'll bring your RPM back to where it should be. It's going to reduce or eliminate all the belt slip. So the power that you spent money on is going to get through your drive line down to the ground, get in the mud, you're going to be able to turn these tires and get yourself out. Um, that's, the, that's the short answer on why you need a clutch kit. If you're making these modifications to your machine, you've thrown off your stock clutching calibration and you're creating a lot more belt slip, um, a lot more heat, and it's just not performing the way that it could if you tie it all in. The last thing I want to I leave you with is we've talked about tires and exhaust systems and fuel controllers. These things, what, what do we spend on a set of tires? $600 to $1,000. We might spend $400 to $1,000 on an exhaust system. Uh, two, three, four hundred dollars on fuel controllers and, and air, uh, air filters. An EPI clutch kit on average might cost $200. They probably range from $150 to $300 depending on the machine and what you get in the kit. That's a small price to pay to tie together all these other uh, components and modifications that you spent money on and really be able to take advantage of the additional power. Thanks for watching. Um, I want you to keep your eyes open on our website because we're going to be adding videos where we go under the covers of the different brands. We understand that some people shy away from installing a clutch kit because they don't know what's under that cover. They've never been into their clutches. So we're going to start going through each brand of machine and get under the cover, show you what's there, and kind of step you through a basic install. Hopefully help you out and uh, answer any questions you have. Again, thanks for watching.